have something specific I wanted to talk about in this video, and that involves Tesla. If we have some extra time, I want to talk about some other stuff. If not, I'll probably dedicate a separate video to it. So right now, let's just discuss. Let's just discuss Tesla. I, I keep talking a little bit too fast. Anyway, um, so this has been the last six months of the stock price. It is up about 155% at a peak of 210% once. Uh, let's just use the current price with the split. 160 now 405 is what it currently is. Currently it's trading 403. Uh, I want to show, I've been drawing trend lines on a hourly candle chart. This way I get pre-market activity. Uh, so this was the low. So after a big up move, about 80, 90%, maybe actually 100% about uh, let's actually get the specific number, it's probably important. Uh, like 94%. It then falls 42%. Okay, then we have an upward move back to about 459, 460 is probably this price ceiling. Um, and that's where it hasn't broken above since. So in about 60 days, two months, it's been in this pattern in between price with a rising support between about 322 460 uh let's see what else could we need if we take this candle at the bear all the way down here at the the peak or the trough yeah trough connected to this that was made on october 30th with a reasonable accuracy um actually what i did was i connected this with this candle this making it a different, uh, we can get into different types of closes. So I, I don't remember the exact one. Maybe this is like called like a type one. Type one, this would be a type two. I'm not exactly sure about that, but each represent a different psychological thing. Or, uh, yeah, just a, a, a means of identifying what behavior happened at certain price levels. Right now, today, if we use that trend line, from that one and the one all the way back there, we have like two of these different closes where it fell below but got bought back up. Now we have this one where it actually touched. Uh, it's 12.30 as of today. Right now with this candle, we still have some time before the market closes. So uh, things will happen and change. But I kind of wanted to talk about this anyway because it has to do with more macro as opposed to what this specific candle is doing. Um, okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's go back to here. So again, real quick, we have that uptrend um, that has been confer confirmed a bunch of times. We also have this downtrend, but you take that peak, connect it with this line back from the 14th. Um, I guess this would be better reading if we go here. We could see the candle, as you can see, it did kind of break here, although this might, this might, I'm trying to think, I don't want this just me like looking at this very in-depthly, like um, I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I guess, unbiased, what's the word, uh, you know, not just confirmation bias, I'm trying to make sure that this is actual data and not just me finding a pattern, but if you connect uh, the thing from back here, there is a, there is up here with this line, this almost touches it, these, and then all this activity since then, the last 10 days, all of the candles have been in some way or another touching upon that trend line, that downward sloping trend line. So what I'm trying to say is we have an up move, a uh, consolidation period, an up move, a consolidation period, and it's funneling into a volatility kind of uh, pattern. Eventually, very soon, I think this will break out, like very, very soon, um, in my opinion. Now, is it does it break out up or does it break out down? Let's um, let's try to figure this out. In my initial guess, I would say down. This is my reasoning. From what I've noticed in the past, when we have some uptrend followed by a downtrend, and then um, a, almost an ascending triangle pattern, and you have this right here where you already broke above, fell down, and then you couldn't get back to that level. In my opinion, that signals a downward bearish movement because it, it just 
less of where we are economically market with the new president coming in
is uh, one thing to note too is just with this volatility uh, or not volatility with the volume look we have this big move up you have some relatively high volume compared to down here ultimate volume <clears throat> then you have lighter volume very little volume and then an explosive move up after after a period of like high volatility or volume you usually have this consolidation period of lighter volume then you have your next volume move up um, yeah I think I just convinced myself this is a great buy opportunity it is Friday though maybe I'll start a position I'm not gonna this is the perfect time to add I would hate for this to open up down here uh, if it so if it breaks right here right now the risk reward for me if I bought right now is very high I would wait for a close below this um, if as a potential stop loss uh, yeah right now the risk reward is there I think I have to take this trade maximum potential gain it has to break through here so it's about 10% maybe this this will 100% be the stop loss 100% if it hits this point and it does yeah, if it hits this point the pattern is no longer confirmed it has to every time create higher lows this maximum stop loss about 5% for about a 10% gain uh, like for like 14 that's not that good but this is absolute worst case scenario I have to get out here I guess worst case scenario is 360. Best case scenario, it, it shoots above. We're at the one, two, almost three. Did it actually break above? Uh, no. I always gotta look at the pre-market stuff too to make sure that didn't have an impact on it. What I'm scared about though is this actually being a descending pattern and I'm getting into something I don't really like wanna be in because it's overpriced and I don't see value. And I'm expecting, again, some more volatility, especially with all this virus news coming out. This is a, a, a high conviction play, I guess, actually, because something has to give very soon. Maybe it goes on for another couple weeks. Um, but that's only, like, creating a more explosive potential move because of all this funneling. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I'm kind of repeating myself. I most likely will begin a position on this. Um, and I'll monitor it. I don't want to hold it over the weekend, but I might do a little bit. Um, anyway, uh, if anyone has any questions or arguments for or against a Tesla trade, let me know. This is not advice for you. I'm just talking about my thoughts and what I see. So do not take this as, as advice. Don't don't buy or trade this because I said anything. Just do your own analysis. So please keep that in mind. And uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll talk to you probably really soon. Probably do another video today. Just because there's so much information I want to talk about. And I've been slacking lately. So yeah, thank you.